British Columbia's cornerstone climate policy is an economy-wide price on carbon applied through a revenue-neutral carbon tax on all fossil fuels that are purchased in the province. The carbon tax actually covers 72% of BC's greenhouse gas emissions. So by designing this revenue-neutral tax, BC is sending a price signal that shifts taxation from what we want, which is income and investment in our province, to what we don't want, which is carbon pollution. The tax actually underpins the success of the suite of other climate actions in our plan, and it's key to driving progress towards a low carbon economy and energy efficiency within our province. So as you may have heard, our carbon tax was actually established in 2008 as part of our province's climate action plan. And the leaders of the day, Premier Gordon Campbell and others, recognized that the single most important policy shift that we had to make was a meaningful price on carbon. We looked at doing this, and what we succeeded in was efficient uh, tax that was efficient to implement, it was simple, and it was complementary to our existing tax infrastructure, and most importantly, it was easy to understand. It's resulted in very little administrative costs or burdens actually to the administration as well. The BC carbon tax was the first and is still one of the most comprehensive carbon tax in all of North America. What we found which is really important around this is it sends a consistent price signal to allow the market themselves to decide the best ways that they can reduce emissions. Through this price signal, individual businesses, individual citizens, and the industries that we have are encouraged to use less fossil fuels and obviously reduces their emissions. The tax also makes clean energy alternatives in our province more economically attractive. The certainty provided by BC's carbon price via, via our carbon tax helps new industries to make investment decisions within our jurisdiction.